Hi again on the second Sunday of the Barcelona Games. And ahead, it's track and field. In the men's high jump, Americans Hollis Conway and Charles Austin, the defending world champion, are among the gold medal contenders. But the favorite is probably world record holder Javier Sotomayor of Cuba. Sotomayor is so revered at home that it is said that the metric measure of his best jump, eight feet, and he's the only man ever to clear that distance in competition, the metric measure, 2.44, is marked on the outside of some Cuban homes in tribute to him. Oh, the bar is at seven, two and a half. He was a surprise silver medalist back in 1988. The bronze medalist at last year's World Championships in Tokyo when he was injured, and the American indoor record holder at seven, ten and a half. And Conway over nice and clean on his first attempt. It's always nice to get the first one under your belt. And Conway will no doubt do some strategic passing through the night because he wants to make sure his best efforts are at the heights it'll take to get a medal. This is Charles Austin. He was the Tokyo world champion from last summer, and he's the American outdoor record holder. His first attempt at 7 two and a half. And he's over easily with just a little brush on the way down. He's been having constant knee trouble since last summer's world championships, even some contemplation of surgery. A little hop in the run up there, and then he runs very quickly, five steps in, straight up in the air, and a little brush on the way down. And he certainly did change history. Hack Schoberg is someone who's used the Fosbury flop to win two Olympic medals so far. And his first attempt at seven, four and a quarter, over very, very easily. If he were to win a medal here, he'd be the first three-time Olympic medalist in this event. He's very tall, 6'6 six, six and 3 quarters, 185. And look at the hip height on this. Two or three inches to spare. A nice opening jump for Schober. Certainly one to look for through this entire competition. It seems like a long time ago, but when he was 19 years old, Patrick Schober won a silver medal at the Olympic Games in Los Angeles. Tom, for the first time since 1968, when Dick Fosbury and Ed Carruthers struck gold and silver, the U.S. has a real chance at two medals in the men's high jump. I'd go so far as to say that Hollis Conway is the co-favorite here in Barcelona. His U.S. teammate, Charles Austin, has been battling injuries this summer, but they both made their opening heights easily. Let's rejoin the competition. Hollis Conway jumped seven, eight and a half to win the trials in New Orleans back in June the best jump he's had all year. Charles Austin up for his first attempt at seven, five and three quarters. And he's over with a little brush, just like on his opening height at seven, two and a half. So that knee doesn't seem to be bothering him too much. Let's take a look at his technique over the bar. He's got great leaping ability and he has incorporated a run up that allows for his hips to be right over the bar when he's right. And that is what happened on that jump. He's capable of going very, very high. He's had close misses at eight feet, a half inch last summer in Zurich. Conway had a little problem on his first attempt at seven, five and three quarters. This is his second. Believe me, he did not want to have a miss in the competition this soon. And again, with a little bit of a brush, he's having trouble deciding exactly where his steps should be. He has good height off the ground. Look at how high up his hips are. But he's brushing it on the way down, and he needs to have more penetration into the pit. Okay, Tom, this is the man they call him in the high jump, world record holder Javier Sotomayor. His first attempt, it's seven feet, seven inches. Ooh, and he's serving notice right now that he is ready. An easy clearance for Sotomayor at seven feet, seven inches. He is the strongest and the fastest and the most physically gifted of these guys in the competition. That's why he's the world record holder, and that's why he can jump 7-7 that easily. Boy, cut it out of the last two Olympic Games. The gold medal here would really make a difference to Javier Sotomayor. It's difficult for many people to understand how a guy just six feet tall can jump nearly two feet over his head. Here's Hollis Conway to tell us how he does it. I'm looking at a one-inch piece of fiberglass, two feet over my head. I use it to give me that adrenaline. I'm trying to get myself as scared as possible, but I want to relax off my first three steps. My run-up is 10 steps. Each step is just a little bit faster than a previous step. The ultimate thing is to hit in the same spot every time. On a good jump, my flat foot is on the ground for a few hundredths of a second, or a blink of an eye. 
just long enough to transfer horizontal speed into vertical height. There's no way you can see the bar. When you get there, you automatically know. Once you leave the ground and the jump is over, you're operating in a fixed park. There's not much you can do to make it better. I end up backwards once I leave the ground. All I have to do is lift my chin up, which brings my butt up. And then when I drop my chin to my chest, my butt comes down and my knees come up. I'm always surprised to see what I can jump. I always want to see myself jump higher. I love to jump high. And I love to jump higher even more. And he's just about to try and jump higher. He missed on his first attempt at seven feet, eight inches. This is the height where we should separate the men from the boys. Ooh, and he's over on his second attempt. He knows that was critical because he feels that the next height, seven, nine and a quarter, is the one that's going to determine the gold medalist. And he's over with a little brush on the way down, but big hip height over seven, eight. And he's not his normal relaxed self. He is really breathing hard. He knew how important that jump was. So fast on the run-up when he's right, he seems to be a little bit tentative and going outside a bit, but the hip height is very good. He's brushing with the right side of his thigh on the way down, but hitting it on the way down is the way to hit it if you have to, because that way the bar stays on. He's got room to spare. He can certainly jump higher. So Hollis Conway taking some deep breaths. Okay, Tom, here's a list of the competitors still in the competition with the bar at 7-8. All the major players still in, both Americans. The Cuban world record holder, Schoberg of Sweden, with the bar at the lofty height of 7 feet 8 inches. Charles Austin, struggling of late since the Olympic trials. He's fairly new on the international high jump scene. Let's get to know this easygoing world champion. Charles Austin is just 6 feet tall and has been high jumping for just six years. Too short for this sport, some would say. Too soon to be seeing the world from Olympic heights. Once you, you're under the bar and it's way up there and you barely can touch it if you stand and extend out, it's like, no way, it's no way I'm gonna clear that. <laughs> Not so long ago, the challenge didn't even interest him. In high school, Austin's love was basketball but he didn't have enough talent for a college scholarship. Where he did show talent was the high jump. So he followed the girlfriend to Southwest Texas State and there spent a lot of time wasting time. I went out and kind of made it seem like I was training every now and then, but basically I stayed in my dorm room and skipped practices and stuff like that. That was until his coach threatened to send him home. Then he began to work hard and to find the thrill in jumping high. In just three years, the slouch soared heights reserved only for the elite. Seven feet nine and three quarters inches to win the world championship last August. Seven feet ten and a half inches just one month earlier to steal the American record from his friend Hollis Conway. Oh, I made it. At 24, the closest he comes to basketball these days is watching his two-year-old son, Cameron. The grown-up version of the game is too great a risk for an athletic career that is now supporting a family. I always wanted a little son, and now a daughter too, but I'm the youngest out of 10, and basically my mother is the one who supported all of us. I don't know how, because she was a maid, and maids really don't make very much money. Austin graduated from Southwest Texas with a business degree last year. He still lives in his college town of San Marcos, Texas, and the girl who lured him there, Kimberly, became his wife in May of 1990. We'd talk on the phone every night and talk to each other every day at school and write stupid little notes and stuff, but um, we were friends for a long time. We were just really good friends. We did have some people that kind of disapproved at first because they didn't give me a chance. She called and said, that, hey, I'm pregnant, I'm getting married, and then he's black. And they kind of like, oh. <laughs> I don't see where anything is very exciting in my life. I high jump, I have a son, I spend my time with him and my wife, and basically just sit at home. And every now and then, he just leaps across the sun. 
Just an average life, he says. Just an average man. I really don't think of myself as one of the elite athletes until I become consistent. And uh, maybe I'll think of myself as one of the elite. Maybe. <laughs> Charles Austin is so modest that he almost apologized to the rest of the athletes in the field last summer in Tokyo when he became world champion. He is sincerely humble, and he's in the thick of things here with the bar at 7'8". He has a neoprene sleeve on his knee now. We'll see what happens. Oh, and that's a terrible attempt. He just backed right into the bar. He's got to be in a lot of pain. He's had a lot of different ways to strap and keep that knee warm, and I'm real concerned about his ability to keep going in this competition if his knee doesn't start feeling better. All right, Todd, Charles Austin on the right, Hollis Conway on the left. The pressure is starting to build. The bar at seven feet, eight inches, and the Bambino, Javier Sotomayor, he's last in the order. He can see what everybody else does. First attempt at seven, eight. Whoa! If that wasn't a serving notice clearance, I've never seen one. He's last up in the order. He charges in here like a bull. And he puts the herd on the rest of the guys in the field with a clearance that large. He says, fellas, I'm ready for whatever it takes. Two and a half, three inches of hip height over seven feet, eight inches. Javier Sotomayor into the lead with the only clearance on his first attempt at seven, eight. Now here is the spoiler, 18-year-old Tim Forsythe. He has jumped seven, eight twice this year. Six foot six, 170 pounds, twice Australian national champion. He's the one who could really put the pressure on people because he has nothing to lose. This is just a warm-up Olympics for him. Atlanta is his games. And Forsythe over. He has put himself right into medal contention. That clearance places a lot of pressure on the Americans who have each missed once at this height. We'll be back later with the conclusion of this high jump final. All right, Todd, Hollis Conway up for his second attempt at seven feet, eight inches. Remember, Sotomayor made this height on his first. Forsyth of Australia and Schaubert of Sweden over on their second attempt. So the pressure builds here for Conway. And boy, is he happy to have that one under his belt. Not the best jump I've ever seen Hollis Conway make, but he knows that maybe the medals will be distributed at a lower height than they all told me. He said Dwight, seven, nine and a quarter minimum for a medal. But he's awful happy to clear seven, eight here. He's really having trouble with his run up. He's not running as fast the last four steps. He told me that this is a fast apron, Dwight. And if there's any wind involved, I'm gonna have trouble with my step. And you can see he's gauging where he is all the way up and he's not getting the penetration into the pit that I normally see him get, but he brushes on the way down. He's still got good hip height here that you'll see. That shows that he's still got room to improve. So he's still in the mix. He's still in contention. But boy, look at the sweat on his brow. He's usually much more relaxed than this. Back and watch this to see if his medal goes from silver to bronze or no medal at all. He's fought well. Twice a medalist already, a world champion in 1987, only 27 years old. And here's the only American left with a chance at the gold. Hollis Conway will be attempting seven, nine and a quarter in just a few moments. Hollis Conway preparing for his final attempt at seven, nine and a quarter. Arthur Partika of Poland, his final chance. He's in, currently in a three-way tie for third place. A surprise that he's even in it at this height. three or four inches closer to the bar and he's over clean. So he just sits back and waits. Sotomayor still leading. If no one makes it, in fact, Conway's the only one left. If he doesn't make it, Sotomayor is the gold medalist. I can't believe that several athletes haven't jumped this height. Every athlete in this final 
felt this was the height for the medal. Conway's final chance for the goal. And he had the height, but no penetration. The same story as all night. Conway is in a three-way tie for bronze. Javier Sotomayor, after being cheated with boycotts in Los Angeles and in Seoul, he broke his first world record in Spain four days before opening ceremonies in Seoul. He is the Olympic champion in the high jump. The height, I can't believe, 7-8 for all five medalists. Patrick Schoberg, his second silver medal in a three-way tie for third with Conway in a bronze medal. Let's go back to Tom.